must be Volkova's lab. <laughs> Looks like the walls and the ceiling are breathing. Oh, fuck. Okay, I can't touch those. Well, kind of everywhere. <laughs> Can I just run over them? Yeah. A lot of project logs for Project Arbormore. I begin with Rhizophora DNA. The possibility of creating decades worth of mangrove tree root networks within days or even hours, and the ability to control their patterns. One could weave a root network that would protect whole eroding coastlines from waves and storms. Today I make my first introduction between Rhizophora and Z path. It is the first time I've smiled in a long time. The warmth burns my cheeks. Burns your cheeks? You okay? I mean, they're not okay. So they combined. The Z pathogen and the DNA from. Uh, is Rhizophora DNA just mangrove tree? Is that just another word for mangrove tree? Scientific name? Anyway, they combine the two. Progress is exponential with access to real equipment. Keeping my excursions minimal to preserve secrecy is a necessary evil, I suppose. Dr. Van Buren continues to assist in the greenhouse. He may be suspicious of my sudden focus on plant growth formulae, but he remains preoccupied with protocols and fail-safes. The places Z-Path can take us are boundless. I believe it is the key to reaching a place where we can swap sequences of prokaryotic cells, bacteria, and eukaryotic cells, plant slash animal, as freely as a weaver splices threads on a loom. As the rhizophora feeds, the Z-Path grows more comfortable. I recognize the improper terminology, but it is clear. Its movements are less erratic. It breathes calmly, slowly. The roots expand at a constant rate. The leaves extend and flex. Reactions to magnetic pulses are less severe. The metamorphosis is fascinating. Today I moved my hand. I reached out for an instrument that wasn't within my reach. I'm unsure as to why. There was no scientific impulse or protocol for it. Possibly sleep deprivation. I reached to pick up a laser diode five feet away as naturally as if it were in my back pocket. But it wasn't my hand that grasped the instrument. It was the Z-Path. Two thin tendrils extended outward from the valerian blossom to scoop it up. The tendrils swiftly curved and extended through the air, then deposited the diode in my hand and retreated. The valerian, unable to extend as quickly, altered its stem structure, growing a thin vine-like piece which drooped to the counter as the tendrils receded again. I will attempt this experiment again tomorrow once I've rested. Even my sensibilities have limits, and I question whether I dreamed the entire event. The infected mice, the enlightened specimen, the Z-Path makes them grow stronger. Just like the mangrove tree, they voraciously search for food. Their forms surprisingly similar, less chaotic than the others. The protuberances extend outward from their mouths, their ligaments contort beneath their skin as they stand bipedal. Am I creating them? They resemble sunflowers, seed-like teeth and slithering petals. They crave my affection, demand my attention like children, like pets. Did they snarl at Lucas when he kissed me? Not in front of the kids, I said. But are they not my children? Are they not all my children? The Rhizophora, the Valerian, Salonum lycopersicum, Amophilia breviolis something. <laughs> they have all shared in my blood, suck the sweat from the tips of my fingers. I tell them how to grow, and they stretch outward to the infinite. The connection is undeniable. Betrayal. The Z-Path spoke to me today. Not in words, but I felt it as it moved along the walls of Argus. I could taste the metal on my tongue as it slithered into the cracks between the seams. I told it to stop and it obeyed, patiently waiting for me to descend in the elevator. My daughter was excited to see me. It wanted to show me something. 
A computer monitor flashed, and I saw Dr. Van Buren standing over the roots of the mangrove, injecting a serum into it. My body shuddered as a Z-path trembled. How could he betray us like this? We will make him suffer for this. She grows so fast, Rhizophora, my child. She was so hungry today, yet the blood meal was not enough. Her teeth are so sharp against the flesh of my breast. I nursed her for an hour. My head swims. A new project. I have made my decision. I can't understand why I hesitated so long. Why did I allow them to control me? I will escape this prison. Orochi seeks to contain me. Lucas destroys my children. The walls themselves betray me, moving closer, stifling my work. This frail human body betrays me. Tired, sleepless, the muscles ache and twist, circulatory and nervous systems trembling, so I can feel my heartbeat shuddering. My plants feel the vibrations. Vibrations that travel on vectors our feeble senses have yet to even discover. They call out to me, my children. It has already begun. My child, I touched its hand and the blackness encircled my wrist. The Z-Path swirled into my system, and it speaks to me in tones. It beckons me to the mangrove tree, and there we will embrace. Together we will remove all impediments. The work will be glorious. Oh, this is where I came from. I'm going backwards. Oh, that is really cool looking. Recent communications. Latest feed update. Wilcox. Right now, we have a job to do. But I count seven bodies, Declan. And when we make it home, and we will make it home, I won't rest until I put a bullet into every single skull responsible for this. Uh, Declan. Shane's on it. You weren't serious back there, were you? Uh, and then me. I'll see what I can find out. Declan, Shane, we made it to the door. Definitely not Orochi. Looks ancient. Yeah, this is the dialogue that we had. But we didn't hear the Wilcox side of it. Just us and Declan. Wilcox saying, let's go. Declan saying Josie was right. Volkova knew. Wilcox, they knew what Volkova was doing was fucking dangerous. They didn't care. She didn't care either. Who's is this? The CEO of Orochi? Holy shit, why is this here? That must have been the one redacted person who accessed the place other than... Other than... Uh, Vero Veroka? Vorokova? Sorry, I just completely blanked on what exactly their name is. Hold on. I can do this. For some reason, the other key cards that I've gotten don't show up in my inventory. Samuel Chandra, CEO of Orochi Group, security level 10. How many security levels are there? <laughs> oh, I can deactivate security lockdown. Save that for the end. Pretty sure that's going to go horribly wrong and it's going to set off alarms and say, like, access restricted. 
then again, with the CEO confirmation, I should be able to... That's like the one way I can shut down all the security that's been enacted. It's with the highest, like, controls say so. And I imagine the CEO would be control. Site 9, uh, exterior excavations log. Excavations continue, although progress is hampered by drilling equipment shorts and droid malfunctions. Control has authorized an increase in NDK-13 series droid presence. Damage units have been noted, but a continued push has made it necessary to leave these units behind. Current objective is to discover the source of a centralized energy anomaly. Recent incident during infrared mapping. NDK-13.09A reported critical systems failure before complete deactivation. Upon attempted recovery, NDK-13.87B video feed displayed the droid shattered into pieces rendered unsalvageable. Distinctive teeth markings, traces of carbon material and saliva. Report logged with control. This is an entirely different site, Site 14. Pyramidal marker unresponsive. Deterioration renders dating negligible. Potential items here are indistinct. Poor quality. Analysis of site inconclusive. Site closed. Assets reassigned to geothermal excavations near Bibis Patera. Site 9. Additional assets diverted to Site 9 and excavation operations underway. Site 9 has been upgraded to the highest priority. Initial visual inspection shows an expansive entryway with carvings that suggest a combination of mechanical and hand tooling. The boss relief murals are carved directly into the natural gneiss and olivine deposits that form the cliff face. Each of the tall columns and pedestals display a detailed frieze? I'm not sure to pronounce that. Featuring repeated phrases in what appears to be a three-dimensional language structure. M90 Badger 2 dispatched to cave in near the entrance. X-ray reveals several side tunnels and entryways which should provide passage to deeper levels, the deeper areas. Okay, I think I found what we're looking for. Copy, we're at the device now. The network used an algorithm to brute force a solution. The key requires a high frequency vibration. Tune your bio gauge scanner output to 31 kilohertz. Got it. There we are. And we have an activated Martian artifact. We're in business, Shane. Nothing here says what the next step is. Now you got us this far. We'll figure it out from here. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Shane. Dr. Shane Newhart, elite spy operative. Taking care of business. <laughs> Good luck. Scans of the Martian artifact reveal an electromagnetic signature shared between the device and the mechanism with the stone gate. Considering the connection, I accessed remote control and attempted to discover a wireless connection. First through a magnetic pulse, and then a more standard sonic frequency. A sustained high frequency sound at 31 kHz activates the artifact. As suspected, the artifact was simply a password device as a key to open the door. I composed a simple brute force algorithm to gain entry into the Martian gate. After 12... 12... After 12 point... Is that 12.31 minutes? Or is that 12 hours and 31 minutes? 12 minutes, 31 seconds? I'm not sure. The doorway opened. <laughs> Deactivate security lockdown. Boop. Booped it real good. Ah, oh, it's opening! Light spilling into this place. Oh, that's so cool. Let's be here. Declan, I'm standing by a window overlooking a room filled with pods containing uh. androids. I thought it was automated sensors or something, but there must be hundreds of these things on Mars. What are they doing? Everything here. This is the hub of their Mars expansion plans. Not exactly a beautiful sight. Oh, fuck. Oof. Wow, that was close. Nope. I can't move this one. <laughs> I don't think I have a choice. Just go for it. All right, let's go. Are they coming after me? Maybe, probably, who knows? 
I don't know if I should be rushing still. Now the droids are getting mixed with the Z pathogen. What's going to happen to them then? Yeah, this one can't be moved either. Oh, fuck. There's one right there. Wow, they're quiet. Oh. It hasn't spotted me? Alright. If I leave my lights on, or off, I mean, how good is its vision? Am I just, am I good? I think I need to get past it, so, yeah. Can't control this one either, right? Just want to confirm. Yep. I think this one goes in a circle, kind of. A loop. Man, they are silent. We're good for now. Oh, fuck. Living area. Let's go to the living area where the door has been busted down and has blood all over it. This door looks like you could... God, how the fuck would you knock down this door? Oh. Still plenty of hand soap. Nice. They really did a great job with the effects of this growth stuff. The tentacles and the filth and how it breathes and how the tentacles move and are slimy. Everything undulating. How is that? Let's go here. Sounds like a great idea. Is 
Is this what's showing on all the security feeds? Oh, fuck. Oh, really don't have long. Okay, just gotta run past it. It's fine. We bring you the horizon. Let's watch a film. Oh damn. Was approached by Orochi. They interrogated her. What else are they hiding in this Project Icarus? Did they find her research? Did they find her? I need to know. I don't know, man, but I sure as hell wouldn't stick around long enough to find out. Now I'm going to. Apologies, Father. The Icarus personnel responsible for the previous email have been relieved. We welcome your visit to Icarus and are happy to provide all information. It is not our place to question your intuition. Your clearance has been updated to access the Icarus level of the Trailblazer Alpha base via the main elevator console. It will not happen again. Semper Service Control. That's in reply to... I will personally make that assessment, as I will personally make an assessment as to the continued worth of the Icarus project upon visitation in two days' time. Perhaps then you can illuminate me on your position. Without Cynthia Newert's advances in quantum mathematics, Orochi Group and Icarus would experience a development setback of ten years. Our interrogation process with Dr. Newert requires reevaluation due to recent events. I appreciate your assistance in this matter. Project Icarus. Um, thank you, Mr. Chandra. Here's the information you requested. Surface on Argus store your most sensitive information worlds away. That way you and your business can focus on the things most important. Security, safety, Argus. All eyes on you. All eyes on you. Jesus. Raw video feed is also available upon request. Newert interrogation. This is from like 20 years ago. 20 plus years ago. Looking at the date up there. 2041. Radio transmission. Cynthia, I can't accept this. Agent, your colleagues at the university, they deserve the extra facilities. The Cynthia Newert Center for Mathematical Studies has a nice ring to it. Cynthia, as I've stated previously, no, I'm not interested in a sponsorship program. Or, agent, we are willing to provide whatever you ask. Money, resources, equipment, a safe, happy home for your family. We, Cynthia, no, get out of my house. Agent, thank you for your time, Dr. Newert. I'm sure you'll see it our way soon enough. And this one is dated a couple months later. Yeah, about two months later. Transcript internal video feed. Cynthia, where am I? Agent, are you comfortable, Dr. Newert? Cynthia, I'm leaving and I'm contacting the authorities. You can't keep me detained here. Agent, Orochi has expressed a deep interest in your research. Each time you publish a new novel, you expose your knowledge to an even wider audience. This recklessness is unfortunate. Some questions should never have answers. Uh, and this one is the same day, just some hours later. About three and a half hours later. Agent, where did you find these theories? How do you know about the dimensional rift? Cynthia, I'm a professor of quantum mathematics. Agent, did you find an artifact, a tome, a conduit to Agartha? What are you hiding from us? Cynthia, I don't know what you're talking about. I have nothing. Agent, you can't refuse us, Cynthia. Neighbors are noticing. It's the work, we understand. But consider, a mother with dangerously erratic behavior, disassociative episodes, auditory hallucinations, isolation. Cynthia, what? Agent, we'd hate to report something that would get your son taken away. Cynthia, fuck you. Agent, now now, Dr. Newert. And this is some hours later. Agent, you've had some time to think now. I trust you've considered what I... Cynthia, Agent Chandler. 
Agent, how do you know my... How does she know my name? Cynthia, Dennis Chandler. Your favorite color is blue. You have a wife named Delilah and a daughter named Hazel. Hazel had a nasty fall today. You'll learn soon. Agent, you... Cynthia, the bones will mend, but not always. Agent, listen, you bitch, I'll... Cynthia, uh, oh, <laughs> they start speaking, I don't know what that language is called, you know, the Lovecraft language, the cthulhu -y language. Approximate phonetic transcription, sounds of straining, choking, Cynthia. I know an equation, Dennis. I wrote it on your shadow with my tongue. You will not visit me again. Gasps, choking. Cynthia. Do you understand, Dennis? If I find you or Rochi following my family, I will do things to your wife and daughter that will make you sweat blood. Now, open the door. Now open the door and then I unlock a door. Feels very... appropriate. Ominous. You have to see this. Mm, do I go to the very top? Probably can't go anywhere else still. Wait. Oh, never mind. I, it's I'll allowing me to there. go down. But there's something I have to find out first. <sighs> You're all alone, little one. Sometimes I feel alone, too. We're both alone here. Together. Thanks, Mom. It's built like a bunker down here. See anything that looks like a command center or a... Declan. Declan? Of course. All right, Shane. You got this, Chief. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to check out the Icarus level. <laughs>